Hello everyone, welcome to or back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lexi and this is my boyfriend Sean. And today, he laughs every time I do this intro, it's fine. Um, so today we are going out on a little date day for our two and a half years, which is on Monday. And the weather is not as not beautiful ideal. as we expected. So we were gonna do a picnic. I don't know if we're gonna do that now. I think we're just going to like send it and see where the day takes us. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Okay, so we are on our way to pick up our lunch from a Thai place. We called and we were 30 minutes away thinking it would take about that long, but it's like 10 to 15 minutes they told us. Uh, we probably should have said hold up, but we didn't. So yeah. Also, we are going to pick up food to go for a picnic because John checked the radar. It looked it looked like there was no rain. That's that's it is all, okay. In his defense, you can't even tell, but you can just tell by the fact that his windshield wipers on that I'm not lying and it is raining. So on that note, Sean, what are your thoughts? You know, we're gonna make the most out of it. That that's my thoughts. Like on most out of it, as in eat in the rain, or <laughs> you know, it's whatever whatever your heart desires. If that's eating in the rain, we'll eat in the rain. If that's eating in the if car, that's, if that's getting a table at the at the place and. We're gonna get a honestly, table. honestly, if you ordered food to go and asked to eat it there, what would they do? Anyone at home has tried that? Just let me know out of curiosity, or if you like work at a restaurant. I really well, we're gonna know. find out. We might have to be finding out. So See, look at stopping. It's it's slowing down. We're, well, it's, it's fine. We're fine. It'll be fine. We're just gonna let you know. I've gotta go by. Well, it's definitely raining. And listen, you gotta make the most out of it sometimes, so we are. Yeah, so <laughs> it's actually really pretty here though, even in the rain. So we're definitely going to have to come back when it is nice out because we were intending on getting a lot of really good pictures today. We are still going to try to get some, but we are definitely going to have to come back because if it is this beautiful on a cloudy rainy day i can't even imagine what it would be like on a nice day but shout out to sean for finding a really really cool place for us to come today even in this kind of weather okay wow so we good things happen this is a, this is a little bit of a shit show but we're fine now unless someone comes out of the forest and takes this spot first so we just claimed this little gazebo that we came by, we saw from the road, and people were sitting under it. So you're really upset because there's nowhere else dry to like actually sit and eat. Thank goodness I have this light because it is dark out today. But we claimed the gazebo. Oh yeah. yeah. I am hungry. Set this bad boy up. It's still a picnic. Okay, I just found a list of questions. Should I be worried? <laughs> see who knows each other better. Oh, Alright, rapid fire them. Okay, when I was a child, what did I want to be when I grew up? A princess. Up. I mean, that, okay, that's not a lie. I wanted to be a princess, obviously, but I, as I got older, I thought I was going to be a fashion designer. I didn't so, know that. So, yeah, I didn't think you would know that. You've never talked about being a fashion designer. I haven't. So, I mean, that has been a lost dream since I was, like, 12, but ever since then, I wanted to get in the field I'm in now, so I guess... I guess okay. I kind of followed through. Let's turn the question around. What did I want to be when I was a little kid? Soccer player. Of course. That, I wanted to be a professional soccer player when I was a kid, but obviously that didn't Guys, honestly, out. when I read the question, I was afraid he was going to make me turn it around or that we'd go back and forth. And I don't know why I wasn't going to think of that, but it actually came to me right in time. Number two. You don't well, like that one? Name a country you would love to visit. You don't like going anywhere. I don't want to leave. So I, I feel like say... Sean might try to go to like Germany or something that his family is from, but I don't really know other than that. Neither of us ever really talk about leaving the country. I haven't really left. Not I, really I left an once. aspiration of ours. Which of your achievements are you most proud of? Let me think. What am Which I most of, proud of? Uh, for you or am Both. I? Both. Wait, I have to answer for you, you have to answer for me. Okay, I think I know what hers is. And what is mine? I think hers is deciding to start a YouTube channel and like put herself out there on the internet is probably her biggest achievement because she always was like hesitant about doing it and then one day she just went and did it. So I would say that. Okay, that's factual. That's actually a good one. Outside of your career, like outside of your coursework, what's something I consider to be naturally talented at? 
I would say for her, her dancing. Uh, okay, I would have said that. What else you would have said? I mean, that's I the obviously, most prominent one. You would say you're naturally talented at shotgunning. You would love to brag about how fast you can do that. What would you have said? <laughs> no, I mean that, that that works. That is totally something you brag about. That people would be like, "What is something that always cheers me up when I'm sad?" This is a gimme, but you're not gonna. I haven't. It hasn't been a thing in like a minute. To cheer you up when you're sad, I'd either say talking to your mom, eating some gummy bears. I don't know. Her, lottery tickets. Oh, her lottery tickets. She loves her lottery tickets. That's her favorite pastime is scratching lottery tickets. But the crossword puzzle one, if they're not the crossword puzzle, she doesn't like them. It's not the same. To cheer Sean up when he's sad. I feel like I'm not sad Leave him much. alone. I feel like I'm not sad much. No. So what are you saying about me? I am overly dramatic. It's fine. Okay, one more. Make it a good one then. What is something that I would never admit to anyone else? Oh God. Expose there, me. There's so many. Um, well, when she, uh, I don't even know. Can you try to expose me and not expose too much? Yeah. I don't know. That's, that's a hard one actually. I was thinking about just like YouTube in general. Like you would never, ex you'd never go up to somebody and talk to them about your YouTube. That's like, especially if you haven't like met someone, you like don't really know them. She would never go up and go like, oh, like I have a YouTube. Um, yeah, that's true. Check honestly, out my YouTube. I feel like she would never honestly, do that. Honestly, which is like really weird. And I don't know how other people with channels handle it. But I mean, I don't really talk about YouTube. No, Unless never. someone asks me about it. And like the people that I feature in my videos are people that I know like want to be a part of it. Like, at least Sean tells me he has fun with it and you guys enjoy it so we enjoy it and a lot of my friends and my housemates love to be a part of it as you've seen but yeah I definitely don't openly walk around talking about my YouTube channel Ever. but if you guys want to like talk about my YouTube channel that's totally fine like yeah share, share the video with a friend <laughs> so what's the one for me what is something you would never admit see it's a hard one I'm, I'm like an open book sometimes. I feel like I'm an open book. One thing you would never admit is you're either really happy that you're not playing soccer or you really wish you were. And like, I think you would never even admit it to me because I don't know the answer to that question. Uh, that's, a, that's a good one. I mean, I, I, think, I think the way it works is a door gets closed but a window gets opened and it's, it's up to you to choose if you want to go through that window. Do you get the analogy? Yeah, I kind of do. I think what he's saying is if you choose a different path, that doesn't mean that's going to be a bad one. Mm -hmm. It's just going to be different and not exactly what you're expecting. Or, or when one path closes or one path ends, there's always that other path that you can go down that you can take. Yeah. And it's, it just changes your life for the good or for the bad. You never know until you, you, know, you take the first step down the path. And that's like this date today. Mm-hmm. Sitting. Exactly. <laughs> we had a plan. We, we had, had a, a plan. beautiful plan. Honestly, honestly, I was a little dramatic and was really worried about what we were going to do with the food we had just picked up because it was pouring rain and our options were either to come sit in the rain or go back to campus. But this actually worked out very, very well that we found this little cute gazebo. Mm -hmm. We think it's called, I'm pretty sure and had some Thai food and a really good day regardless of the rain. Yeah, I mean, check this place out. Look, it's even, it's got like a nice little fan up there. It's got some oh, lights. Yeah, I it on my phone. Whoa, look how bright I am. But it's beautiful. It's beautiful in here. Be careful with that camera. Cool. And then don't, don't get mad at our, our nice, oh, I missed you. Don't get mad at our little nice uh, sheet that uh, a bug. <laughs> that we used as our little picnic spot. Why but... don't you get mad? It's cute. Okay, well, we are going to go walk around a little bit before we leave. And if I get some good videos, I will add them on either to the end or some point in here. But thank you for watching us on this cute little picnic date today. It was not 100% what we planned on but it was really close for the weather and situation given so we're really happy we got to do this and we had to do it today because like I told you last time my recruitment 
got all changed and I actually have it now all week long so including on our two and a half years which is Monday which is and Monday. he's also had we have, yeah, rush, we have, right? we have yeah. fraternity rush that we have um, going on this week too so there's really like no time at all yeah so I'm excited to keep sharing that stuff with you guys and really happy you came along this day with us so we will see you next time Bye, guys. Please like, subscribe, and click the little bell notification on the bottom. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>